All right, let's do a let's do an art talk about the mongoose here. Now, you can see from here, uh, the final effect is scary, <laughs> which is you know exactly what I wanted from him. You know, uh, I I I once I saw the image of the golden mongoose, I was immediately attracted to it, and I was like, you know what, that's my spirit animal. You know. I'm not a big guy. I'm I'm not uh, extremely muscular. Uh, you know, as much as I I try to work on my own, it's best it, it best is for survival not to. You know, and I'll probably do a gray wolf at some point for another as a representation of another part of my personality. Uh, we'll, we'll bring this guy in a bit closer so you can see. Okay, so this took a, a very long time to do, and it, this is in its finished state right now. You look at his face, okay, he's got that Mona Lisa smile, and as he turn, his eyes will follow you. And I I've taken a lot of influence from classical paintings. Uh, throughout history, oh, that's a little bit off. <sighs> yeah, good, good enough, good enough. Uh, you know, say like Da Vinci, uh, you know, and it's, it's not exactly, uh, you know, fine brushwork all over the place. So there's a bit of Van Gogh in there. There's, uh, some Manet. There is, uh, there's some group of seven in there even with certain brush strokes, you know, and, uh, you know, some hyper realism, hyper realistic aspects. Now, I, I finished this painting in, in Kelowna while working at Kelowna Playcraft as a contractor, along with the, uh, the other painting, the, the meteorite shower with the northern lights. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I actually was painting both of them at the same time. Uh, just so, you know, if, if I, I felt like changing over uh, while one was drying, uh, drying, uh, I would paint the other one because, well, I I, uh, I don't really know too many people personally in Kelowna. Uh, very few of them, in fact, like a handful. Uh, and you know, some of the some of the best moments in my life were uh, have been have been in Kelowna, and some of the worst moments in my life have been in Kelowna. I feel awkward because I'm looking off center here. Yeah, there we go. And, and like, uh, to, you know, again, the character, when you get closer to it, you know, there's a bit of pink in the left arm, which, which represents, uh, you know, my, my feminine, feminine aspects of my, of my, my personhood. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, because it, it, as is, as it used to be, pink was hyper masculine. Uh, but now in the current cultural context, it's, it, it has, as it has been for a while, it's, it's, uh, feminine, uh, and, uh, you know, you can tell he's ready. He's really, really up there, you know, hyper intelligent animals and they work in packs, right? And the strongest one is the one that, that, uh, uh is of course the leader, um, and, and, you know, the, the prettiest one, whatever mongoose select each other for in dominance hierarchy because uh, you know they are they are height they're social animals uh and uh you know mongoose love to eat snakes and uh they're the most prized meal for a mongoose and the way that a mongoose hunts hunts snake or cobra right is uh you know the the strongest one dances up front and the most agile uh, the 
uh, you know, the, uh, the strongest in, in fortitude and the quickest, uh, the one, so that's, they're the, they're the one that can dodge the strikes and then another mongoose will come up behind and latch onto its neck and kill it and shake it, shake it to pieces. And so I really, I, I really admire that out of the animal because they're, they're so, they're, they're so ingenious and they're so inventive, uh, for, for a mammal that doesn't have, you know, opposable thumbs. And, uh, you know, when I was in Kelowna and I was doing the nose and the face, you know, it was wet. And this is a, this is a, a, an interesting story. Uh, the, one of the roommates I was staying with, you know, I, I, I obviously, you know, show, uh, my housemates, uh, the, the progress of these two paintings and also to look at the starfighter over there uh, because, you know, in a certain light, you know, that starfighter will will stand out, right? It'll, it looks three-dimensional and it, you can actually visualize uh, the flickering of the afterburner uh, and, you know, the vibration uh, wavelengths uh, creating the illusion of the dispersed light through, through fog and, and through the atmosphere. Uh, you know, cause you know, I'm thinking about this, these, these paintings, like an engineer, as much as an artist, and I plan them out in my head, uh, before I do them and I lay them down, like they, this was done exactly as you see it. So from the background to the middle grounds, uh, and then this stump here, and then I drew in with a white pencil, uh, the, the figure of the mongoose. And then I started building him up more and more and more, uh, so that you have that three dimensionality and the creation of the illusion. Uh, there's different ways to do that. Like, uh, you know, uh, and I'll, I'll leave that for you to figure out, but it has to do with lenses and uh, transparency, translucency, layering, you know, that's that's the whole, whole deal, uh, you know. And uh, he's been across Canada with me. You know, um, I'd be hard pressed to sell it uh, because it's such a such a personal personal painting a lot of these are personal paintings you know I don't do them I largely don't do them for other people unless I'm paid for them or I you know I, or I'll give them away to people because you know this is this is my my one of my passions right um, the best things in life uh, are free and art for art's sake right uh, if I were to build an aircraft it, it wouldn't be something for profit you know, uh, people don't understand the, the, you know, the mentality of has really changed of, uh, what is life worth, right? What, what, what is, what is it to be alive? What is human life worth? What is our civilization worth? And this, this demonic pursuit of, of profit and profiteering and, and dominance, you know, and this, uh, downward spiral of, uh, uh nihilistic hedonism you know, uh, the self-destructive nature, uh, this worship of uh, occultist and sacrificial um, idealism, right? And it's, there's a lot of reasons for me to paint something like that, right? And, and then and, uh, when you think about it, uh, I, uh, I'll, 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 I'll treat these paintings very much like tattoos because once it's finished, you know, it's there permanently, right? There's, there's no changing that. That's been varnished uh, with uh, golden uh, archival varnish. You know, same with a lot of the other ones. They have something similar, like crystal, uh, treasure, treasure crystal coat on some of them. So this stuff, right? Because I know at some point somebody might want to restore them. And, uh, you know, this, this stuff, this crystal coat was, uh, was fabricated in 1994. You know, this is very special. I don't have very much left. I have to, I'm thinking about what, what painting I want to use it on next. Uh, and I use this, this, this varnish specifically, uh, let's see on, on God hand here. Okay. So this is sheet lightning. And you see it's in, it's all just over a landscape and it's got this high gloss finish on it. It's absolutely blinding. It you know, you can't you can't really look at it in in direct sunlight, but you can put 
you can put my paintings in direct sunlight because you know uh, they're all they're all made with modern materials manufactured. Uh, I don't make my own canvases. I much prefer this professionalism uh, versus the oh, well, unless there there are other canvases that have been manufactured by Bijans here in, in or Canada is a Canadian company. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, some, some, a lot of, you know, you, the, each one of these paintings is very different from the last one. Again, it's a commentary on manufacturing versus, uh, prototyping, uh, so to speak. Like each one of these, there's, I'll never do another one like it. I won't, I just won't. Uh, I don't see the point in repetition. You know, you visit, you, you visit something and each of them is like a person or, um, a piece of my life. Uh, that which makes it that much more valuable, you know, there's, there's a, I don't want people to separate the art from, from the artist. I want them to understand what it was for me to struggle and to process, um, you know, the lead up to, uh, and lead up to, and then the actual production of, of, of the artwork, right? Because that's the way I look at, uh, at aircraft. Okay. I think that's it. I gotta check on the cookies. I'll come back. I'll come right back in a second here. Okay, so another seven minutes left on that uh, in the oven. You know, and the other varnishes that I've I've tendency to use was a was a Liquitex, a uh, water based uh, acrylic, a semi gloss, and uh, a lot of these other ones. So you know, again, uh, information for the the future uh, when someone might you know something fades or whatever. Um, Okay, well, how else can I relate this to to another painting? Because, uh, you know, I love looking at them for a while and they inspire confidence in, in myself because it's a you know, sense of accomplishment. You know, these, these paintings can take anywhere from one day or one night with, uh, with God hand uh, all the way to five or six months here with... Uh, this wave painting for all women I've ever loved, right? So we'll just put this back up here on camera. And you all know it, obviously, from... You know, this took me about five and a half, six months to finish. And almost daily uh, work to it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to include this as, as a comparison here, you know, because this is uh, Lycorn. You see, I really like the semi-gloss, the high-gloss finish. And I've mentioned this in another paint, another video about, about the art talk, um, you know, where, again, you see it a certain light. And it's just like the flash of the nuke going off, and you can't see it, and it's blinding. Now, it took me about, uh, to finish this painting, uh, two months, and uh, it's a pivotal moment because this was done in, uh, in, 20, in 2020, right? And a lot of people don't remember 2020, like what the heck happened in 2020? It was COVID, right? <coughs> and... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's just about where I'm at, you know, okay, so if we're going to go by the different strokes, hey, there's a lot more brushwork in this one uh, for the, you know, the turbulent flow, and then, like, I want, I'm always visualizing the movement, uh, so when you look at it, you know, there's this three-dimensionality uh, illusion aspect, 
and then with the, the foreshortening and the buildup from the background painted first and then brought forward with more and more detail. You know, and this is, this is again, this is very, this is a very smooth painting uh, in comparison, except for the rough textures of, of, of the, the bark down here. You know, and then like the, the, the heavier strokes uh, and more paint laid down uh, with, with the leaves and the grass. Uh, you know, and the, if you look for it, like a lot of these, these images I pull from the internet and are common, are creative commons, right? They don't have licenses or they do, and I don't have any attribution. So whatever, uh, I'm sure the photographers are more than appreciative of the fact that I, I, I turn their, their work into their photography into uh, works of art. Um, you know, okay, well, uh. I hope you get to see these in person one day. Maybe it'll be in my office. Uh, well, this is like my studio in my office. And uh, if you ever feel like coming by, please do. I, I don't mind visitors. Uh, just tell me ahead of time, you know, um, just like anybody else, because I'm always, I'm always open to, you know, having a beer and talking about art or technology. These, these are just, you know, a few of my favorite things. So thanks for watching. We'll see you for the next one. Um, I don't know exactly uh, what I'll be doing uh, for the next art talk, uh, but you know, I, obviously I'm, I'm explaining all these pieces of art. So uh, yeah.